When we first start Micromanager, we see the splash screen which has general information regarding Micromanager that we recommend you to read. From this window, you can start Micromanager by selecting a particular configuration file. You can do this by choosing from the various files that have already been set up on your system. As a first time user, you will have the option to choose from the demo configuration or none so that you have a chance to explore Micromanager without previously having your system configured. Since we already have a configuration file set up with our scope, we will choose that file and wait for it to load. As we wait for the file to load, we can see the Micromanager interface to the left and the MHJ interface to the right, both of which work together to provide you a complete Microscopy experience. Under the camera settings, you have the option to change your exposure rate, binning, and select a shutter of your choice that may be available to you. The auto shutter opens the shutter when the camera begins exposure and closes it immediately afterwards. You can also choose to open and close the shutter manually. To the left of the camera settings we have the options to snap an image, view a live acquisition, acquire an image, start the multi-dimensional acquisition engine, or if need be, refresh Micromanager. We can start off by selecting Snap, which then displays the view with the snapped image. From there, we can choose to save the image or add it to a series of images. But before we do that, let's move up the window. There it is. See how you can save, save as, or add to series. We can also see the pixel values with the pixels X and Y position on the MNG window. Of course, all of the image analysis options on MHJ are available for use as well. Since this image looks out of focus, let's manually refocus it using the focus knob on the microscope. That looks much better. You can now move the stage while in live mode and position your specimen however you like. To set a region of interest, you must draw a square over the region and then click on the ROI icon. Then select Snap. To go back to full view, click the full view icon next to the ROI and then select Snap again. You can also zoom in and out of the snapped image by clicking on the green and red zoom icons. In order to obtain a line profile, click the line icon on MHJ and draw the line as you would like, and then simply click on the profile icon. You can adjust the brightness and contrast of your image in the interactive histogram display by moving the black and white arrows at the endpoints of the graph. This sets the upper and lower clipping levels. Basically what this means is that the pixel values lower than the black triangle will appear black and the pixel values higher than the white triangle will appear as white. On the left of the histogram you can select full to set the upper and lower clipping levels of your camera's full intensity range. Or select auto to set it based on the extreme pixel values in the image. You can select auto stretch to do this continuously. Below these selections, you can see the minimum, maximum, average, and standard deviation of the intensity values of the image. One of the nicest features of the histogram is that you can adjust the gamma function, which is a function of both the upper and lower clipping levels. You can refer to the user guide on the Micromanager website for more details on these features, or anything else we talked about on the screencast. <laughs> 